If a picture is worth a thousand words, then a good video is worth millions. But for most creators using AI generative video today, it still feels like you're prompting and praying. Type your scene, and if you're lucky, one out of five videos will actually be usable. That's all changing right now. Veo 3.1 finally lets you have director level control. And the secret to unlocking it, well, it's this new prompting framework that Google developed called Timestamp Prompting. Let me show you how it works. So in the ultimate prompting guide for Veo 3.1, we can see here all the way at the bottom tucked away is this golden piece of information that they call timestamp prompting. So if we go down here, we'll see under workflow three timestamp prompting. Google claims that this workflow allows you to direct a complete multi-shot sequence with precise cinematic pacing all within a single generation or video. By assigning actions to time segments, you can efficiently create a full scene with multiple distinct shots saving time and ensuring visual consistency. And they give a prompt example right here, and you can see that the video is broken out in these time-stamped prompts. So you might be asking, how do you use this? I read this entire document, took all the information and gave it as instructions to an agent in a new platform called Glyph that allows you to create and share AI agents. So you can see right here, I have the Veo 3.1 timestamp prompter. Let's go ahead and ask the agent, what is timestamp prompting? And by the way, this agent is completely free to use. So the agent explains that timestamp prompting is a technique for Veo 3.1 video generation that breaks down your creative vision into these precise time segments that tells the AI model exactly what should happen at each moment. So instead of one long prompt, you get structured prompts that look like this with the timestamped prompts. Now let me show you an example of what this looks like. Here in Google Flow, I asked the AI model for a young female explorer with a leather satchel and messy brown hair in a ponytail as she pushes aside a large jungle vine to reveal a hidden path. And this is the video that it generated. Let's check it out. Now this is pretty good, but the problem I have with it is it's not really the control that I need. If I'm directing a coherent story, then this video isn't really gonna help me out. I need more granular level control. This is where timestamp prompting comes in. Let me show you what happened when I used the timestamp prompt. You can see now that I segmented this prompt into what should be happening in different time segments, and let's check out what happens after I use the timestamp prompt. That's exactly what we're looking for. You can see that the video generation followed the timestamped prompts and we were able to get this granular level control to really make me feel like I'm the director in this video. So let's try a couple more examples. So now I'm gonna ask the agent, can you make a video of a penguin drinking coffee from his igloo and reading the news? So we're gonna see, we pass this to the agent. It's gonna reference the knowledge that I gave it for the timestamp prompts, and it's gonna give me a completely new timestamp prompt. So here you can see the timestamp prompt right here. From zero to two seconds, it's a close up of the penguin's beak, sipping that steaming coffee from small ceramic mug, warm golden light, and then we can see that it generates the rest. So let's go ahead and grab this timestamp prompt that the agent put together, and we're gonna go ahead into Google Flow, and we're gonna go ahead and just paste that in and hit generate. And if you just wait a moment, I'll show you what that video looks like. Okay, the video just finished generating. Let's check it out. That's pretty sweet. Okay, so now that I showed you what it's capable, let me show you how it can be relevant to your products, to your business, or anything that you're doing to make some money. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the agent right here. And this time, I'm gonna ask it to make a product ad for when you're sipping that first sip of Coca-Cola. So I just asked the agent, make a product ad for when you're sipping that first sip of Coca-Cola for the first time ever. So agent's gonna take this information and again, put it into the timestamp prompt. All we need to do is just grab this here. Again, the agent is completely free to use. And then we take it into Google Flow. And I'm actually using the Veo 3.1 Fast model because it's a little cheaper and has just about the same quality as Veo 3.1. So now we pasted this into Google Flow and we're just gonna wait for the video to generate. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like in just a second. So the video just finished generating, let's check it out. The first taste changes everything.
The first taste changes everything. Okay, so that's pretty sweet. You can see now that we have the timestamp prompts, we're actually getting a multi-shot, multi-scene video that actually makes us feel like we're in control. So if you've been prompting and praying for good generations, you need to stop. Instead, start directing with the timestamp level precision. I've linked the glyph agent in the description below. Again, it's free to play with. Experiment with some timestamp prompts, and I promise you're gonna be blown away. Until next time, peace.